Hello, this is Santiago Rialto in Costa del Sol. Good to see you again. Thank you for being there. And today I'm gonna do one of the most important videos of my channel. I think I should have done it much more before. But uh, when you are gonna buy a property, there are three very important things to take in consideration. Location, location and location. And that's what the video is about. So the very first things that we need to know is like the worst that can happen is like when you come to Costa del Sol for the viewings, you have the whole coast for exploring, right? It's a very big place. We have 150 kilometers along all the Costa del Sol from Santo Grande to Nerja. And you need to try to close the circle a little bit as much as you can, because when you come for the viewings so or for getting to the properties, you can um, at least have decided a bit smaller area, like for example, from Marbella to Malaga or from Marbella to Estepona to Casares or to Malaga East area. Because if you start driving up and forward, up and forward, you waste too much time. And most of the people who come for the viewings, they have maybe one week, two weeks maximum, right? And if you have the whole coast to explore, so you would just came back home with, with empty hands. And that's not what we want, right? We need to try to, to do it as much organized as possible, to try to do as much work online as possible, and for sure, if you find someone who guides you and help you through the process and you can do all this learning online before you actually come here, this is very helpful. Most of the times what I do with my clients is like we sit on the computer, we do an online meeting, I ask you several questions to help them to decide and to try to close the circle at least a little bit before they come actually physically to the Costa del Sol. All the areas of the Costa del Sol have completely different characteristics and prices, right? In Spain, most of the locals, we buy specific kinds of properties and with the little terrace, but might not be attractive for the people from abroad or people from countries like United States. They are, they are more used to bigger apartments with more square meters and so on. So that's when it comes the an experienced real estate agent that can help you to decide like, for example, this property that you're looking for in this price could be possible in this specific location, right? That will help you to more or less find what you're looking for. Another way to decide location as well is through your activities. What are you going to do when you live here? One of the very first questions that I ask the potential buyers when I do online meetings with them is like, what are you going to do when you are here on the Costa del Sol? Uh, some of my clients, they say, my most important activity, what I do every day, I wake up in the morning and I have a walk in the beach to see the sunrise and that's how I like to start my days, right? And this kind of people needs a beachside property. This is one of the main things. The activities we do and the day by day are the ones who are going to help us to decide which are our ideal location, okay? And um, some of the buyers as well who likes to play golf is a very popular reason to buy a property on the Costa del Sol. If you are a golfer, would like to play two, three times per week, you might need to buy a property in a golf resort because if you buy it in a golf resort or directly with a golf resort, you can have discounts on the games and the green fee could have, if you buy in La Cala Golf, for example, you can have a discount of 15% of the green fee, which is quite attractive and in the shops as well. So that could be an important reason and to decide location, to have discounts. Um, for example, young families, they most of the times have to drive the kids to schools and the school and the short distance to the desired school could be the main reason to choose this location. That's why when I work with young families, the first thing I ask them, are you going to have a private school? Should we check first the schools? And most of the time before actually go on viewing some properties, we actually do visits to the school. We in Costa del Sol have great private schools and very economic prices. 
For example, Soto Grand International School is an amazing school. We have the Deutsche Schule, the German private school in Malaga, is here on the Costa del Sol. And we have San Antonio School, Nova School, all of there are great with great prices. So that could be another reason as well that can help you to decide location. Another thing as well related to locations is, for example, I kind of always see which kind of people choose in a specific location. There's always trending, especially Marbella, for example. It's an area that is very popular and it's, it has a specific lifestyle, which is very luxurious. And most of the buyers already in a certain age, they know exactly what they like and they can compare it with specific areas in their countries. Uh, I had a buyer once that did tell me, this area reminds me so much like Beverly Hills in LA or that area of California, or this reminds me San Diego because of the promenade, because of certain things, right? And this is very helpful for me because I know these places as well, and I can tell you which place is more or less similar or is closer to your desired location. If you do it in the other way, for example, that you are want to have a big villa, a good property, and my budget is only 700,000. So you come to me and tell me, Santiago, I want a villa with private pool, with sea views and so on, and I only have 700,000. Well, that can only be possible, modern style, brand new villa speaking, in the areas of Manilba, La Duquesa, a bit more far from the area. We go there, we check the area. If you're still okay with the place, then we can make it happen, right? So it's not only related to the activities, it's also based on what are you gonna use it for. Most of the buyers who like big properties, they like to spend most of their time at home. They enjoy the garden, they like to take care of the flowers, or they have inviting friends, uh, cooking, on not doing much more outdoor activities and rather enjoying their own home. That could be a big reason as well to, to go in the other way around, right? The last thing I want to point out about location is when you are willing to buy a property as investment. The first question I always do is which kind of investment you want to do. Are you willing to rent it out only to have a passive income just to keep the property or are you going to do an investment that you're willing to sell it after a couple of years or you buy off plan to sell key ready. These are two different kinds of investments, always depends. The first one, for example, when you are doing willing to have a passive income, then it's more attractive areas like Marbella, which are more established and internationally popular. And there is a massive global demand in these locations. So you just need to get whatever property you will rent it out. As well, it's attractive for this purpose to have properties which are close to golf and close to the beach, as also Marbella is quite attractive in that. But in some other places of the Costa del Sol, you have um, walking distance to the beach, maybe a couple of minutes drive to the golf courses, and then it's when you can keep your high occupancy. In the summer, no doubt, a lot of people will come to enjoy the beach, to rent the apartment, short-term rental speaking, okay? and. On the other hand, in the winter, on the spring, on the autumn, there are plenty of golfers who come to the tournaments. Here comes in areas like La Cala de Mijas or areas like Benalmadena, for example. It's an area that combines golf and the beach very well, okay? In the other hand, the properties which are more like uh, to buy a plan and sell it when it's ready, you're not willing to have a passive income or keep it forever or anything like that. You just wanna jump in, jump out, quick investment and get your money back after a couple of years. These kind of investors are always looking for locations which are growing, where a lot of construction at the same time, right? We are looking for a whole neighborhood on the construction. That's when it comes Estepona and La Gaspara, for example. There are more than nine developments right now on the construction in La Gaspara, as well as the whole street and plenty of infrastructure and commercial plots. It's exactly the same in Igueron. Igueron, west part of Benalmadena, east of Fuengirola, that exact location, the whole neighborhood is under construction. There are plenty of developments there, plenty of developers, investors, builders, they are working together to create a whole new neighborhood. And after all this ready, about 2025, 2026, every single apartment will rise because of 
the location itself is on the construction and on the develop, right? So this is quite uh, attractive location-wise, it's different for each kind of investors. But guys, for sure, the very best to help you to find your ideal location is to jump an online meeting with me. This is what I do in the Made by Day. I can clarify all your doubts about any specific areas. I can actually help you to find which place you can have that specific price you want. And when you see it online and you work online from it and you come here, you are much more well prepared and you can really make it happen. So if you want to have an online meeting with me, just send me a message over there. You have my WhatsApp now, phone number or my email and let's arrange an online meeting to clarify all these questions regarding the location. I'm very happy to help. Have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye then.